Oh my God, it's on its side. Cell phones captured the aftermath, but tonight the NTSB confirms multiple train mounted cameras were rolling before and after the deadly Amtrak derailment. Traveling just under the 79 mile per hour speed limit, the agency oh, yeah. says passengers may have been ejected. We're literally thrown out of our chairs, my father and I. It was unlike anything that I have ever felt. After multiple 911 calls. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, I just, I'm on an Amtrak train in Montana that just crashed. It was mostly volunteers who raced to the scene in the middle of rural Montana. Trains destroyed down there, right? Okay. Zach Snyder is one of the three who lost their lives. His wife somehow survived. Dozens were injured, five hospitalized. With the NTSB piecing together Saturday's crash, Amtrak's Empire Builder was traveling west with two locomotives and 10 cars. On a fairly straight stretch of tracks, at least five cars suddenly derailed, three plowing off the tracks entirely near Joplin. With more than 150 on board, the train was equipped with positive train control, a safety feature that virtually prevents all derailments from human error. We'll be looking at the mechanical condition of the train. We'll be looking at the human factors of the crew. Uh, we'll be looking at the people who inspected the track. We'll be looking at the track conditions. BNSF, who maintains the track, said the rail had just been inspected days earlier. Tonight, the widening probe for answers after a tragedy on the tracks. And Miguel, we know from previous accidents that, that some of these trains are equipped with recorders, including this one, right? Yeah, that's right, Lester. Investigators have recovered the black box. In addition to the speed, it'll tell them if braking was applied. Couple that with the onboard video, and you'll have some powerful clues.